It started with the humblest of beginnings, cold, beloved college on the hill, a solitary building perched atop the high ground north of town. The efforts to turn the dream of South Dakota State into reality clearly were tenuous at best. Many points along the way left the process open to failure. Had it not been for a few determined visionaries who were willing to take risks, history as we know it easily could have played out differently. It was an inauspicious start at the Dakota Agricultural College. Financial and political struggles were emblematic of the early stages. Yet whenever conflict or controversy arose, putting higher education in jeopardy, Brookings citizens characteristically rallied around the cause for the greater good. They risked and sacrificed, failed and thrived, and had they not dared to dream, those 80 acres on the northeast side of Brookings might never have given birth to the dreams of countless others. Do you suppose they could have imagined what that college on the hill would become one of our early alums paid for our iconic campanile, a call to the sons and daughters of the state to afford themselves of the educational opportunities made possible by the generosity of the people of the state. And they came from the Sioux and Missouri, the Cheyenne and the Jim, the pine-clad peaks of the Black Hills, brim full of vigor and vim. Do you think Charles Coughlin imagined what we would become? A place that's produced 88,000 graduates. Leaders in business and industry, entrepreneurs. An innovator whose discovery fed tens of millions. A Nobel Prize winner, a Medal of Honor recipient. Division I Athletics, all American a current Hall of Famer, and a future one. Accredited programs that rank among the nation's best. And all because, 135 years ago, townspeople pitched in to assemble $600 to buy a tract of land, and entrusted succeeding generations to build upon what they started, and eventually handed it off to our generation one that's inherited and embraced both the opportunities and the responsibilities. Can we imagine what our SDSU will one day become?